Good morning. In this week's parasha of Nitzavim, after Hashem has presented to us the blessings and the curses in Kitavo, He speaks about the Jewish people's reactions to, uh, to these choices, to these consequences. And in chapter 28, verses 18 and 19, we presented with a person who says, Shalom Yeli, it will be good for me, it will be peace for me. Ki beshrirut libi eleich. I will walk according to the shrirut libi, which basically means according to what my heart desires. I will follow my heart. I'm not interested in what the Torah says. I'm going to follow my heart and uh, that'll all be good. And Hashem says, Lo yove Hashem, lo. Hashem will not desire to forgive such a person. So the question is, why not? What's so bad about what this person is doing? They're following their heart. Well, perhaps they have a good heart. They certainly seem to think so. On a simple level, this is referring to somebody who is saying, it'll be good for me and I'll do whatever I want, whatever kind of selfish desires he feels at this moment, that's what he's going to do. And Hashem says that's simply not acceptable. And that's true and that we understand. But there's another level here as well, in that even if you're doing the right thing, but you're doing it just because that is your nature, you're doing it because that's how you feel, that's not really what we're aiming for. And that in fact, even though in many cases, in the majority of cases that can be good, that can also end up being very, very destructive. So the, the, the Kotzka Rebbe, for example, says, you know, if somebody does a chesed his whole life because he feels that he is a person of chesed, that's not really a mitzvah. Okay, now we understand on the one hand it is a mitzvah. On the other hand, it's not really a mitzvah because this is not something that he is doing to transcend himself. This is not saying that he's doing that's connecting to the deepest part of his soul that's connecting to Hashem. This is not something where he is rising above human nature and the circumstances of his creation. This is something that he feels like doing and so he does. Well, maybe he has a nature that he's a people pleaser. Maybe he doesn't like to say no to people. And the time may well come when it's actually completely inappropriate to do, to do kindness for somebody, where it's actually in a completely inappropriate to do what they want, but they'll, he'll do it anyway because that's what he's so used to doing. The same way the other one, somebody who's incredibly disciplined and is very used to saying no to himself. That's a wonderful thing. And against all the challenges of the world, he says no. But he says no, not because that this is his service of Hashem, but because this is his nature. That's not the real idea over here. And so somebody who says, I'm going to follow the desires of my heart, even when those desires of his heart are good, can be, is, is not really what we're aiming for over here. We're aiming to ultimately see beyond your natural inclinations. To say, well, yes, it may or may not be that I'm a good person, but what am I called upon to do here? How can I transcend the situation in which I'm innately placed and become something greater become something better and bigger. We don't say, we say, what does Hashem want from me? What is the greatest I can be in this situation? Because when you make mistakes, it's all on you. And therefore, your loyal of Hashem is local. Why should Hashem forgive you? You took full responsibility for what you were doing. If you are trying to do the right thing, not what you feel like doing, but the right thing, the good thing, the godly thing, and you still make mistakes and you don't make 100% and you don't get it right, you know what? We can work it out. Hashem will want to forgive you. You still have to do Teshuvah and whatever else. But you're coming from a much, much better place. And so the idea here is, do what is right because it is right. Do what is good because it is good. Not because it feels good. Not because of what you want to do. But put your wants aside. Put yourself aside. Put that ego aside, the natural desires. And think about what you're called upon. What's really great and desirable in this situation. Shabbat Shalom.